cancer right nothing to my nether regions guys can we get some air over here it's way too hot i don't want to be all sweaty on camera what are we gonna we ain't got a fan it's making me mud well i just we just need to fan my balls real quick i can't have sweaty balls when i'm trying to do a message jesus i pay you people enough my balls shouldn't be sweaty making me mud Borderline Personality Disorder. Boy, do we have an episode for you. There's going to be thrills, chills, drama, suspense. We may even have a special guest or two. All coming up on Mr. BPD. Putting the F back into Borderline. My balls still haven't been aired off. But now, now I gotta get up and find someone. Now I'm pissed. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> Much better. Having your genitalia on the outside instead of the inside is really a major inconvenience. You women folk have it nice. All your plumbing is internal. Very self-contained, made to go places. Take it anywhere. Great, right? Yeah, if you're a woman, it's great. It's perfect. Pants are horrible. Pants were designed by men, I'm sure, because men designed everything because women don't have the smarts to do it or the ambition. Oh, come on. You know I joke. I joke. Take your junk and just start squeezing them and trying to compact them into some kind of paste, I think. It's not the pants' fault, really. There's no room for the junk built into the pants. Men's pants need to be designed where there's extra room in the crotch area. This would be great. A dome for your junk. Put on your pants, but your junk is nice and secure in this dome-type thing built into the pants, okay? It gets better. This material, this dome, is built out of the same stuff that you would want to use if somebody was going to take a sledgehammer to your junk. If you want to be a real asshole, you could kick a guy in the junk. We would have protection. Why don't we protect our junk? There's no protection whatsoever. If you want these pants, if men out there, if you want these pants, here's what you can do. I will make them. I will. I'll make them. It's going to it's going to cost money though. So if you want it, you got to support it if you want it. The best way to do that would be to join my Patreon. Plus, you get some stuff with it. You know, not just going to get the pants eventually, but you also get some videos. So check it out. Links in the description below. If you're not into the whole commitment thing, which I completely understand, fellas, you could also just make a one-time donation through PayPal. Links in the description as well. That's how you change the world, right there. You get an idea. It's great. You know it's great. You throw it out there. You know that your ideas are good enough. You know that you can change the world. It's not, can I change the world? It's, when will I change the world? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to level with you. I don't usually like people. I'm not a big people person. I have extreme great concern and love for my subscribers. I find myself wanting to make my subscribers' lives better, to, to do what I can to help them out, which isn't much, I'm sorry to say. But I try to do what I can. Today, this old lady is walking out to her car. I mean, you can tell she couldn't, it's at the grocery store, you can tell she couldn't walk very well. And she's pushing her cart while trying to, you know, steer herself with the walker. So she's got the walker, and she's got to have one hand on the walker and one hand on the cart. So here's how she's doing. She'd push the cart, and then... Ta -tum, ta -tum. Push the cart. Ta -tum, ta -tum. And who am I to just walk past an old lady who's in obvious need of some assistance. I stopped, I'm like, ma'am, do you need a hand? Would you like me to push that cart for you? Maybe put the groceries into your car? 
And she's like, yes, yes, I would love that. Could you? Thank you. Thank you. And she's thanking me, and she's so happy. And, and I, I've got to stop. I'm like, uh, hold on. Uh, just one question. Do you subscribe to Mr. BPD? Looks at me all confused. Huh? I'm like, sorry, I, I can't help you. And I walked off. When I was walking by her, though, I thought she might be a subscriber. And there's no way I'm going to let a subscriber go through that. You can hit that subscribe button, and it opens up a whole world of opportunities for you. You'll know, no matter what, that there's somebody out there that has you in mind, that cares about you and your well-being, and will do what they can for you, which isn't much. Don't forget that. I can't do much. Very little, actually. If you're pushing a cart with a walker, I might put your groceries away. Hey, it's better than you get with a lot of YouTube channels, so hit that subscribe button. We are halfway to our 1,000 subscriber goal. Now that gives us an opportunity to shake things up, bring fun into BPD. You know, Mr. BPD, bringing the fun to borderline personality disorder. Why is that door open? I can't find no fan making it mud. What are you doing? You're making it mud. Stop it. Stop what you're doing. I'm just simply the dancing monkey. I'm here to dance, and dance I will. Keep on keeping on. Stop it, you're making me mad. Quit. What the mad. hell are you doing? You're making me mad. We ain't got a fan. It's making me mad. Stop that. You're not supposed to be over here. You're making me mad. We ain't got a fan. It's making me mad. You're acting just like those people at the Pig and Ford race. I quit. We ain't got a fan. It's making me mad. I quit, you made me mad, you, made me mad. you can't find no fans, make me mad. Stop, stop it, stop what you're doing. What are you doing? You can't find make no me fans, mad. make me mad. Don't know what you want me to do, you can't find no fans, you're make gonna me make mad. me mad. It's making me mad. You're making me mad. We ain't got a fan. It's making me mad. You make me mad. I'm getting so mad. We ain't got a fan. It makes me mad.